previously. Ted, I'm back. And so we go. Hello, friends. My name is Renee, and welcome back to Bear With Me. Um, the last time we played this, uh, Amber and Ted parted ways. So, yeah. Let's... Episode 3, let's do this. <coughs> In case you guys didn't already know, I am sick. I've already told you that, but, uh, yeah. Cursor sticky for some reason. <coughs> oh no! What happened to Tigrid's place? <coughs> it looks like someone was looking for something. I hope Tigrin's okay. Me too. Maybe I should tell Lebowski it's here. If this room was a box inside a screen and someone would be looking inside it, the arrow would look like it's pointing southeast. I'm quirky like that. Okay. This cheese is not Gouda. <sighs> this one might look better on the floor. Can't reach it by hand. I need something longish. Okay. Maybe the curtain rod. The quotation marks are not there by accident. No intentions on touching that. Get my rain, Ted. <coughs> oh. Aw. <coughs> so sad. Pointy things helped us out so far. Yeah. Can I use it on this? <coughs> oh, whoops. Okay, hold on. Let's look it doesn't say anything, but it's pointing right. <coughs> it's turned left, but there's nothing on it. Okay. Looks like it's pointing northwest. There's a schematic drawing on the back of the painting. Left, right, white. There's a schematic drawing on the back of the painting. This side up. Hey, they flipped <coughs> it right. <coughs> if this room was a box inside a screen and someone would be looking inside it, the arrow would look like it's pointing southeast. I'm quirky like that. So, south, east, West, east. Looks like it's pointing northwest. Northwest. North? My oh my. <coughs> Indeed. <coughs> okay. Looks like something is behind it. It's locked. There seems to be a panel on it. Wonder what's behind it. Let's find out. <coughs> there seems to be a mechanism for the lock. Okay. Southeast. Uh, west. East. Northwest. <coughs> North. <coughs> 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 Is the 
A for Amber. Open sesame. Who needs you, Bear? <sighs> You good? I've left her there. I did, on that creaky old pier. It was more of a suggestion than a decision. I was walking slowly, just waiting for her to turn around, to yell at me to come back. Anything, she didn't. She did? I've come <coughs> to expect that from her. She's really headstrong, difficult. Thomas, I can see traces of you in her eyes. The same look, that same twinkle when adventure calls. But most of the time, she just marches on to the beat of some other drummer. The one I can't hear so well anymore. Thomas? I made a promise to you. Back then, when she was born, promises and old age don't go well together. She's constantly getting me in tough spots. And it's getting impossible for me to keep up. Is that her dad? <coughs> It was easier with you. We thought we could really make a difference. You and I, remember? We thought we could clean up this dump together. But then, you changed. You grew up. It happened so fast. <coughs> with Amber, I feel she can do it all on her own. And I'm just here for the ride. I'm not blaming you. I never did. Even when Margaret knocked on the office doors and I saw that stupid look in your eyes, I knew. I knew our time was coming to an end. Aww. I watched you both grow up, and I remember you two becoming best friends. I was there for your wedding, man. I remember you coming home with your son a year later. You were so proud, and I was happy for you. <coughs> a couple of years later, Amber came along, and I could smell trouble all over her. She was bad news from the start. When she grabbed and hugged me for the first time, my eye popped, but she was laughing. It was funny to her. I guess it was funny to me, too. Oh boy, I thought, this will never work. But it kind of did. I admire her in a way. Everything is new and exciting to her, and she embraces life with both hands until its eyes pop out. As King said, she really is something else. You made me promise I would always keep her safe. And God knows, I tried, even though she wasn't making it easy for me. I can tell you that much. This thing that's happening to her now, I feel she has to do this on her own. Besides, she said it herself. She doesn't need me anymore. And I need her as I need a bullet to my head. What I do need is a drink. I think I earned one after all. So, where are we on that drink, pal? As I already told you, I'm not running a goddamn charity here, Ted. Times is tough. Besides, my <coughs> name is Jameson, as you know. But you just kept referring to me as Thomas this whole time. Who the hell is Thomas? <coughs> Did I ask for your life story? Just get me a damn drink. You know I'm good for it. I don't, actually. You have an extensive tab here, Ted. You have to start paying soon, man. I told you this already. You damn squid. Who did you call first when you thought your wife was having an affair, hmm? Well, you. <coughs> you charged me for it. Yeah, well, you know, times is tough. At least I give you a friends and family discount. <coughs> no, actually, you overcharged me for your field expenses, which were... Basically, just you drinking here for free and having me drive you home every night. What's your point? My point is... And how can I put this lightly? You have to start paying for your goddamn booze, Bear. How's the missus? Oh, you know, she's doing okay. Wherever she is. Women. Uh, <laughs> Tell me about it. Just give the man a drink, Jay. It's on <coughs> me. Hey, Headless. When did you get here? I was literally here this whole time. You were actually telling me your story, but you kind of switched to Jay here mid-sentence. We thought it was weird, so we had a discussion about it while you were talking. You see, we both think this whole Amber thing is troubling you more than you're willing to admit. How'd you figure? You care for the girl, Ted, more than anyone else. You just basically told us your whole life story, even though we resisted actively. I mean, I tuned out so many times. I did my taxes in the meantime. Jay did his taxes. Anyways, all I'm saying is you're usually not the talkative type, and here you are just rambling on for the past hour or so. Oh, I'm sorry. 
I didn't realize I was being a burden on you, too. Come on, don't be like... Yeah, sure, buddy. You're all that. Whatever. You lowlifes. Some friends you are. Go after the girl, Ted. She needs your help more than ever now. We all do. This is the time for a man to show who he really is. All that effort. It means nothing if you leave her now. When she needs you the most. Never thought of you as a quitter, honestly. <laughs> I did. He often quits on paying his tab. All right. You've made your point, goddammit. I'll get you the money by the end of the month. <laughs> sure. Now don't you go getting shot on me in the meantime. I could never do that to you, buddy. Go find her, Ted. She's probably alone and scared, and no matter what falling out you two had, I'll bet you my bottom dollar she wishes her partner is with her on this one. Yeah, I guess. What the hell are you doing anyways? Talking to a couple of village idiots instead of finishing the goddamn case. Rude. How could I leave her like that? I mean, rude. Right. I have to go and find her. She needs my help. Headless, you got this, right? Right? Sure. Put this on his tab, too. What the? Um, no time to talk. I have to go. <laughs> God damn, Ted. I guess I can't go anywhere else. Okay. <coughs> Huh. What happened here? These were criminally underused in the last episode. <coughs> I'll just take these, again. It didn't move since I last saw it. I hope these don't need automatic updates every couple of days, too. I mean, finish a damn product before launching it. I might have shot myself in the foot there. I hope the Huh. A truly remarkable garage door. It's really like nothing I've ever seen so far in life. Always send the dumbest guys to solve convoluted puzzles. They always find the most creative solutions. I see. I guess let's go then. Still can't click on literally anything else. <coughs> I've wondered what the hell this thing is. Guess I'll never know. <coughs> yeah, generic rug comment. I mean, it's just a rug. Does whatever a spider web does. <laughs> Not really artist in woodwork, if you ask me. Not real. This cheese sure is not Gouda. Get it? Looks unused. Maybe it'll come in handy. Indeed. Huh. In the land of the blind, a man with a jar of eyes is the king. Doodles aren't really my forte. Maybe Amber would enjoy this one. It's pointing at a specific direction, as arrows tend to do. Ah, uh, hang in there, buddy. Classy. I bet Amber would have a great comment for this thing. Indeed. She did. Uh, ooh. A glass slide. Uh was not there before. <coughs> Sorry. Maybe I can view it somehow. Is that it in here? I think so. Okay. <coughs> oh. <coughs> hey. Your guess is as good as mine, buddy. All right. Another glass slide. Another slide. Voodoo hat. <coughs> is this the final one? Hey, your guess. Is okay, okay. Stylish, except for the bones. 
I don't know. The bones kind of complete the look. Who would want to spend time with a stuffed animal? Am I right? Uh, should I tell him? Are you say? I can't even. Oh, nope, you said something different. My bad. Nah, I'm not food or tired. Just regular tired. Pazuzu? That's one ugly deity. Uh. Hey there, buddy. Got any tips? Your mother washes socks in hell. <laughs> All right, calm down. Well then, are you saying the same hey thing? Hey there. Yep. All right. <coughs> How to enslave a soul? I smell a Pulitzer nomination at the very least. Indeed. Zero reflex. A psychedelic experience. Okay. A two-headed snake. One is eating itself while the other isn't. Huh. I don't get it. Is that the world snake from Norse mythology? I can barely make out the outline on it. Smells like teen, um, ghost. <laughs> teen spirit. Huh. As if this place wasn't creepy uh, enough without flickering uh, imagery. Indeed. Well, I guess let's get creepy. Actually, there's nothing else. Ah. Another slide. <coughs> Almost missed it. Is this the final one? <coughs> I don't know. Is it? You tell me. All right, let's grab the thing. If <coughs> projectionist school taught me anything, this is what you put in the slides. Projected at school? Is that a thing? Let's see if this will work. Do I need a lamp? Or do I just need to put the slides in? Huh. As if this place wasn't creepy enough without flickering imagery. Okay, do I just put the rest in? <coughs> Here goes nothing. The hell is this? It's like a narrative of our case. <coughs> What's going on? How could Tiger <coughs> know about this? Huh. As if this place wasn't... Every major event is here. Everything we did so far. How is this possible? Uh, that's a great question. All the slides are in there. Is that all? The last image is missing. Did Amber break it? <sighs> and if so, why? Every major of the last Im every major of is every major every Okay. I guess that's it. Uh, well, now what? <coughs> oh, this was I'll not get them for this. Was it? I swear it wasn't. <coughs> Maybe Tigris is at the casino? Tigrid? Not Tigris. Uh. Huh. Took you long enough. I was tied up with my work. Never thought I'd live to see the day, to be honest. You, me both, Snoop, it's a milestone. So, there goes the Westpaw Casino. Well. One less thing for you to worry about, am I right? That old joint. That was just a cover-up. The shady stuff was always done behind the scenes. Besides, don't worry. I'm sure King has more than enough stashed away. He'll be fine. Mind if I take notes? Knock yourself out, pal. You know the drill. 
No quotes, no names. No problem. Can't think of what'll happen next, you know? What do you mean? You know what happens when someone steps on King's toes, Ted? Casino was his bread and butter. He's not gonna let that slide. I had a chat with him last night. I have a feeling he's going to pass on this one. Red? Yeah. These are terrible times, Bear. I know, Sam. I wanted to talk to you about this, Ted. Something is fishy in Paper City, and it's not just the fish market. You got that, too. Huh. Let's not talk about it here. There might be some seagulls around. What? Uh, nothing. Anyway, I have a couple of leads left, and the night's still young. I'll catch you later tonight, and we'll talk. Sounds like a plan. Anyways, I need to get closer so I can have a chat with that Barry fellow. Brian? <coughs> yeah, that's what I said. <coughs> Those PCPD clowns are not going to let me get close, though. I'm sure you have a way of circumventing these types of situations. Usually, I do. But seeing as Commissioner is here, it'll take more than a pamphlet to get me inside this time. Pamphlet? Don't worry about it. Miss me already? Don't flatter yourself. I'm getting to it. Well, get to it, then. I'm getting to it, goddammit. Where's the fire? Nowhere now, I mean. It was a figure of speech. <laughs> Go figure. Okay. Sam Blabbermouth <clears throat> Murphy, Paper City's top news hound. Okie dokie. Seems like the fire boys arrived a little too late to the barbecue. Alright. It's like a building, but, you know, drawn. Right. I better not. I have to find the doll <clears throat> first. <clears throat> I see. So, is it like a sauna? I don't... What is it? Don't ask me. Canadian cub, for the bear in the know who enjoys a good blend. It's like it's talking to me personally. <sighs> Actually, hold up. <clears throat> Wish it could shed some light on this freaking case. Uh... Two stupid dogs. <clears throat> Please move away, sir. This here is a crime scene. Oh, okay. For a second there, I thought it was an accident. God damn it, Dudley. What? The official statement, man. Uh, oh, yeah. <clears throat> um, please move away, sir. There's been a terrible accident. Sure, sure. <clears throat> you guys mind if I have a quick chat with your fellow police officer there, Bradley? Uh, Brian? That's what I said. No one's allowed. Okay, uh, never mind. Uh, I see the locks here. Seems strange he would come down to investigate an accident. The commissioner's here because of the press. It's better if he deals with the media himself. I can imagine. Hey, buddy, who the hell are you anyways? Me? Oh, I was just on my uh. way to work when I saw the sky light up like a goddamn 4th of July, you know? And what is it that you do exactly? I'm a lawyer. Another one? Uh. <coughs> people are like vultures. Hey, well, yeah. I'm actually with you on this one. I'm an actor. I'm an extra. <coughs> I take these gigs on the side to kickstart my acting career. An actor, hmm? Anything we might have seen. You watch a lot of Indonesian cinema? Is that even a thing? I'll just pretend I didn't hear that, savages. I take vacations instead of other people. I take their money, go on a vacation, and send them a bunch of photos. My clients swear it's like they went there themselves. Oh, that sounds great. <laughs> Man, I wish I had <clears throat> some money to pay you to go somewhere. I always wanted for someone else to visit China instead of me. I hear they have dragons there. Bye. <sighs> These guys sure don't have it easy with that fire starter roaming the city. I bet not. Hmm. There must be a gambling joint nearby. Oh, that's right. There is. These guys sure seems like the fireball. <clears throat> hey, where do you think you're going? There's that guy, <laughs> that one cop. What was his name again? Brian. Hey, where do you think you're going? Talking to him? Uh. You have any dirt on those two idiots by the site? Just anything? <laughs> well, the one on the left is Dudley. He got married recently. His wife, Mary, works over at Paper City General as a nurse. The other one is Bob. He was the best man at Dudley's wedding. Rumor has it Mary and Bob used to date in high school. Well, that's an angle if I ever saw one. Do your worst, buddy. <coughs> okay, then. 
<laughs> so, buddy, who the hell are you? I work over at the Paper City General. Really? My wife works there, too. Uh, do you know her? What's her name? Mary. Mary Robbins. She's a... A nurse. I know Mary. <laughs> Such a sweet girl. She's always telling me about you, Bob. You're a lucky guy, let me tell you. <laughs> yeah, she is, and... Uh, wait, Bob? My name's <laughs> Dudley. He's Bob. What the hell? Oh, boy. I'm sorry. She's always telling me about her high school sweetheart and how he's so handsome, and I just thought, you know what? Forget I said anything. Mary said I'm handsome, huh? <laughs> Come on, man. It doesn't mean anything. I mean, it could have been any number of Mary Robbins down at the Paper City General who are married and think their high school boyfriends are handsome still. Yeah, I guess you're right. Denial, man. Look it up. Idiots. So, what are your plans now? Uh, uh, uh. I'm actually going to China. I hear they have dragons there. That's a must, if you ask me. Oh, no. You're going there? Really? Oh, I'm so <laughs> jealous, I want to murder you. <laughs> Just kidding. But, but no, really, can you bring me back some photos? I would love to see them, man. You got it, pal. Consider it done. Great! You're such a great guy. <laughs> I'm heading down to the sunny sandbox beach. It's really something. Uh, something? <clears throat> it's a beach, Pat. <clears throat> I mean, I might go to backyard town. Now that Bruno the dog is gone, the place has really flourished, you know. Yeah, I hear it's great down there now. Okay. <sighs> Nothing, Sam. The married one is a complete idiot. Uh, well, here's a scoop, Snoop. It seems Mary went to visit her relatives two weeks ago down to Cardboardville. Uh, she went alone. Hmm. The plot thickens. Coincidentally, Bob went there on some two-day seminar called The Amazing <laughs> World of Bubbles that same weekend. Now, I'm not a gambling man, but if I were... Thanks, Sam. Here goes nothing. Oh, it's you again. Ruined any marriages in the meantime, bud? What? Oh, no. I was just leaving and wanted to say goodbye. Going on someone else's vacation? I'm going down to Cardboardville to attend some seminar. Mary's always talking about that place. She went down there two weeks ago and she brought the best saltwater taffy this side of Dredge River. Let me tell you. Oh, yeah, I know. And check this. Bob was there a couple of weeks ago as well. He was attending that uh, bubble seminar. Didn't you, Bob? Um, yeah, it was only okay, though. Um... Small world indeed. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, for the love of Mary's having an affair with Bob here, you stupid idiot. I mean, <coughs> smooth, Ted. <coughs> I'm sorry, Sam. This was getting ridiculous. Bob, <sighs> is this true? What? Um, <coughs> no. Come on, man. Who are you going to believe? Your best man or some, some lawyer slash actor? I knew it. I seriously doubt that. You were always <sighs> so jealous of me. You just couldn't let me have her, could you? Jealous of you? Don't make me laugh. Besides, she told me she only married you for the <coughs> money. Money? <coughs> you son <coughs> of a... <coughs> Paper City's finest, ladies and gentlemen. You little... You're my best friend. Okay, then. Oh, no. What's going on over there? <laughs> Those two, they're just horsing around. Mr. Bear, surprised to see you here. Hey, there, you. It's Brian, sir. Brian, sure, I knew that. <laughs> Anyways, what an unfortunate accident, am I right? Accident? Um, sure. Listen, was anyone here when this accident went down. You're worried about Miss Ashworth? Huh. Worried? Don't get smart with me, Chief. Now, was anyone here is what I'm asking. Only Mr. King and some of his associates. They all made it out in time, uh. though. Seems like Mr. King cut the gala short and escorted everyone out at some point. It's almost like he was expecting this to happen. Huh. Weird. Definitely. And, um... Miss Ashworth? You know. Uh. Sure. Whatever. Fortunately, Miss wasn't here at the time. Any idea where she is? Last I've heard, she was seen at the Paper City <coughs> Harbor, taking a cab to King's Island. Harbor? What's her game? I'm not sure, Mr. Bear. 
but it seems to me Miss is following Mr. King and his associates. God Why? damn it. She's still looking for <clears throat> Titan Jones. <clears throat> this can't end well. Oh, I'll say. Um, Mr. Bear, I'm not supposed to share this information with you, but something big is going down at the King's place later tonight. Is it? It would be better if you hurry on down there before... Before what? The commissioner is planning... Hey! What's going on down there? Brian, son, go and stop those two idiots. This is not a place for horsing around. Right away, sir. I'm sorry, Mr. Bear. I have to go. Wait, Sport, what were you... Ted, what are you doing here? This is still under official investigation. You know the rules. Yeah, true. Don't worry about me, Sarge. I'm just passing through. Going somewhere in particular? I'm going down uh, to Kokomo. Kokomo? Yeah, my plan is to get there fast and then just take it slow. You know. Stop being such a wise guy, Ted. It's not good for your health. I'll take it for. <laughs> if I had a nickel, you'd probably drink it down. Move along. <laughs> There's nothing to see here. Can't really tell if this is your official statement or just your apathy talking. I suggest you walk <coughs> away if you want to spend the night in the slammer snoop. Resorting to threats, are we? I hope I've made my point. See you around, Sarge. My regards to the missus. It's a shot. I guess there's nothing else to see here. <coughs> um, Mr. Taxi Driver, will you wait for me? Keep the meter running and that stuff. Why are you whispering, little uh, wench? I'm here incognito. I mean, it's a stealthy mission, you know? Ah, uh, what? There's no one around. Oh, right. <coughs> Anyways. Anyways, I'll be here. It's all the same to me where I get drunk. Don't look at it like that. The choice of ambiance is very important in creating the atmosphere or foundation, if you will. Which yeah, then, yeah. in turn, creates a mood more suitable for relaxation, or the main floor, <laughs> figuratively speaking. And after all the requirements have been met, on the very top, or the roof, relaxation helps in the absorption and digestion of alcohol. So, you know... It's not, really. You know, you've spoken more words right now than my wife in 40 years <laughs> of marriage. I'll take that as a compliment. What was that? What was what? I thought I heard something. You sure it wasn't you? No. I didn't hear anything, but I think I'm in some kind of sonic shock still. I guess, see you later. Aye. <laughs> 